Hello, Mike Tess. This may be the first of uh, a video series where I um, may be doing something while I talk to you guys because I'm kind of bored right now and it's been a long day. So, the topic today is rather interesting. I had the idea for this video for a while now and I have been wondering um, on you know other people's opinions when it comes to um, let's say music interests so uh, funniest thing about um, having someone tell you about their music interests is you can see the passion that they have when they share something which is good you know it's good to have passion in what you love and especially when it comes to music taste uh, it's, you know, it's, it's very important to have that but here's the funny thing about it I've met some people that are absolutely insane when it comes to music but what I mean by insane is their ideas on what people that should like and should not like so for example uh, I knew this person I'm not gonna mention any names but when this person would share me a, a music that this person enjoyed and it wasn't my cup of tea I didn't really like the whole dark-ish music I don't know it's just not my cup of tea right <laughs> I would get straight up no joke I would get insulted straight to my face um, saying that I don't have a real taste in music now that's funny because in 2019, where um, a new age of like uh, hip hop is coming along in the recent years, um, the whole mumble rap uh, thing, I like classic rap. Not really like classic classic, I mean like OG rap. Okay, sorry, my phone kind of like fell because uh, I don't really have a phone holder. I'm just balancing it on the uh, reverse camera. I won't be reversing, so uh, it's like a good thing. Um, yeah. On one hand, they, when these people like share it, right? So whenever I disagree with like, I, I say like, Oh, the music's interesting, but it's not like my cup of tea, right? I would instantly, and I'm not even joking, instantly I will get insulted saying that, Oh, you don't have a real taste in music, or you're like, um, Most of the time, I just get like, the whole hate thing like, Oh, why do you have to hate this music? I just said I don't hate it, I just don't really like the music. Like, it's not something that I would hate, it's just something that I won't listen to. But these people, they're just like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know how, I know human beings are annoying, but man, that's like really pushing it. And uh, another thing is uh, movies, right? When someone suggests me to watch a movie, which is something I don't mind, and I love movies, by the way. When you suggest me a movie and I watch it, and like, or maybe I just watch the trailer and I'm like, yeah, it doesn't really like catch me, or it doesn't like, it doesn't like hit me where I want it to. And people just judge you for it. They're like, oh, well, you know, uh, you, you, uh, you don't know how to pick a right movie. I'm like, we all have our own interests, man. Back the fuck up. <laughs> so, I don't know. I used to be easily swayed back then when I was younger and all that. When someone would tell me something's nice and I would think it's nice just because they told me. But in the recent years, especially, you know, going through hard times and all that. Um, I feel... I feel like I'm slowly trying to adopt the habit of, how do I call it, not giving a fuck, you know what I mean? So the less you care about what people think of you, the happier you as a person would become. Not normally, on a regular scale, right? Unless it's a criticism where it's like, really something wrong with you, like you are a fucked up person, and then you like, listen to people, right? Then maybe they give you some advice or whatnot, which is good. But if you're normal, like, I'm <laughs> not normal by any means, but... If you're like me, when it's just a topic of uh, music, for example, it's not that big of a deal. If I don't like the same music that you like, does not make me less of a human being, am I right? So I don't get these people. They're just, I don't know, way too extreme in terms of what they like. Like, I don't know. For me, my interest in a lot of things is very, um, this the community that supports it is like really low. For example, uh, gaming, right? I love, uh, I mean, I play Aura Kingdom, so I kind of like the whole MMORPG, anime MMORPG thing going on. Um, there's not much of a community to like that sort of thing, and I also um, 
I like rap, especially the old school ones. A lot of people now are like mumble raps, you know, the little ya, little uh, little Uzi, and all the other littles that don't really know how to rap. <coughs> but um, I don't know. I just find that it's just not my cup of tea, you know. And I, it's that not many people like what I like, and I don't really mind that because we all have our own interests. And I need to make a turn into the next lane. Give me a second. This piece of shit would let me pass. Just to wrap this this video up, I, I'd say that me personally, I know that we all have our own opinions, and if if you don't like what I like, I don't care because it just makes me all the more um, unique in a sense that I, my interests would help me stand out. But when it comes to me not liking something that you don't like, uh, fuck you, I don't care because <laughs> seriously, seriously. When you share someone something and, don't, and they don't like what you like, you are in no means in any right position to tell them that they're a piece of shit and they're any less of a human being, alright? Fuck you. That's... I don't know, man. So, just to wrap up this part of the video, and I might record one because the uh, chip's a little bit... a few more minutes away. Uh, I'll record something talking about something else, so... Stay tuned, guys.